everybody. I've come out here today to uh, Taji War at a place called Bluff Falls. I've been kindly invited by a lovely married couple um, who are here with me. I don't know if they want to be on camera or not. Um, this is the scene that we're currently shooting. All the way up there. What an amazing place. One of the hidden gems in the area of northeast Victoria. Been lucky enough to come out with um, a lovely couple today who showed me where I was. And I've been photographing Bluff Falls both in portraiture mode like this. And also in landscape mode. And um, the reason I've done it in landscape mode as well is so I can take several photos from bottom to the top and stitch them together later in Lightroom. However, in portrait mode, I'm able to do that in just one shot. And I'm currently using the Tamron 15 to 30 SP. Um, it's a great lens, 2.8 goes down to. My current settings today are anywhere from about 1 8 of a second to 1 4th. ISO in manual as low as I can get it and the f-stop's changing depending on the shutter speed I use anywhere from f8 to f16 Everybody, I'm at the Gowler Falls now, which is outside of Corion, and um, photographing a second waterfall today. Been lucky enough to be showing this by some friends of mine. Um, and this waterfall has only been discovered since it was a large bushfire ran through here. So you're going to get a look at a bit of the sea. What I've done here is set up on this rock here. And then I'll point it up towards the falls. I've taken some photos with an ND filter, longer shutter speed, and also used the polarizer. It's so bright today. the log down here I stamp it across the log and grab some other shots so that I get, could get more of the waterfalls in but it was uh, quite a mission going down there 
And I'll play that. Got away with it just. Hi guys, at the Gala Falls, up the top way up there is the waterfall. And today, we've been up there photographing it. Um, it's quite bright, so today a polarizing filter and then an ND filter was a must. Um, two different lenses, 24 to 70 and uh, 15 to 30, both at their uh, widest limits. Um, yeah, it's beautiful country up here. No one knew these waterfalls were here for the longest time, even the locals. And they were discovered during the last lot of bushfires that went through here. And you can see by the country, even though it's been a couple of years later, there's still quite a lot of damage everywhere. Burnt ferns and trees down, burnt tree stumps everywhere right up towards the falls you can see up there all the burnt trees and stuff 